Hey guys, Hannah Quinn from Video HQ here. So today I'm talking about how you can film a sequence. Now, a sequence is a way of concisely filming an action or a process from loads of different angles. And the best example I can think of uh, to explain it to you that you'll all know is when you're watching the news and the reporter goes and sees a victim of a crime and they almost always get them to make a cup of tea for them. So from a sort of wide shot you see them you know, getting the mug out and then you get, might get a close-up of them putting the tea bag in and, and giving the milk a stir. That is a sequence um, because you, you know, it could take about a couple of minutes to make a cup of tea but they always condense it down to about 10, 15 seconds. So that is a sequence and why do you need it for your filmmaking? Well, if you're doing it for a business, it's all very well talking about how good you are but if you can show them, then that really adds extra impact. So here is how to film a sequence. Now the main thing you want to do is to film the entire process from each different angle. So to take the tea example, you don't want just a close-up of them putting the tea bag in, you want a close-up of the whole process, just like you want a wide shot of the whole process, and a medium shot of the whole process, because this allows you to stitch it together much easier in the edit. So yes, this does mean your subject is going to be repeating the process over and over again, so if you are doing the cups of tea, you're going to make enough brews for the entire street. One thing to bear in mind when you are filming your sequences is that you want the camera movement to mimic what the human eye can do. So if you want to get a closer look at something in real life, you don't zoom in, your eyes can't zoom in. What you do is actually physically get closer to have a closer look. So that's exactly what you should be doing with the camera. So that's why you'll see a lot of sequences start with a sort of wide shot so you can get a broad picture of the action that's happening. Then you might move a little bit closer to a medium shot and then when you really want to focus in on the fine detail, that's when you go for your close-ups. So the close-ups with the hands and the face to show the emotion. And that's also why it pans, so moving the camera from side to side, and tilts also work really well in filmmaking. It's because you can move your head in those ways. But one of the best things about sequences is that you can get really creative with them and show off what you do for a living. If you're a professional dog walker, show me loads of different shots of you walking your dog. So from ground level, from sort of a wide shot, close up on their happy faces because let's be real, that's the money shot, that's what we all want to see. Now obviously the editing process for filming sequences is a little bit more complicated so it is going to require some post-production editing. However, I can do that for you as part of my overall improvements to your video, like adding subtitles, uh, colour correcting your video and an end board with contact details on it. So get in touch if you'd like to know more about how I can help you with that.